Hi Brenda, it's Kelly. I'm just going to try a Screencast-O-Matic and I'm going to go over my ISTE um, learning goals and go over where my gaps are and what I feel I'd like to focus on for my project. So as you can see, the visionary leadership, I don't have much. I do have um, a number two here with contribution of planning and development but more at a school level than a district level. You can see that some of my examples are with direction team as well. It's division lead with junior and intermediate. Um, I planned a series of days and created a click format where teachers come into my classroom in the division and we focus on a math focus with our student improvement plan. But generally I have a tremendous amount of technology layered into the learning because I feel like we need to push that. And so administration backs me up on that as well. As you can see here, I've led a day with ELL teachers and uh, the junior division in language on creating a folder for ELL support learners. From We had a number of children from Syria and I was doing a number of things and the ELL teacher wanted me to share that with the staff. And so I led that day and I actually have a little YouTube channel that um, I just copy YouTubes off for the ELL students. As well, I had a lead day where I had special ed and ELL teachers come in and we talked to the French teachers uh, specifically on dealing with supporting at-risk students who are on IEPs for uh, French because we were having a lot of challenges that way too. And it seems to all come down to the technology. I'm now on the NTIP um, committee. Um, Kate has invited me to do that, and I've done a couple of presentations uh, around math um, with the uh, mentee um, teachers and, um, sorry, the mentor teachers. I'm going to have to redo that one. Anyway, um, I think an area of focus that I want to work on in this area is to do with implementing and initializing, uh, initiating strategies. Um, around classroom uh, management and dealing with technology in different areas uh, with other teachers. And the focus I really think I enjoy is teaching and learning assessments, but coaching teachers. And again, you can see here the same examples exist. I think implementing and enha enhancing the learning um, at a higher level and trying to layer in authentic um, areas of using tech with good pedagogy is where I want to focus and you can see I'm really it's the same sort of examples here I'm at a one I did um, do a presentation on Lego robotics integrating space and using a blog and using different things again um, I presented that co-taught that with the learning commons teacher and we presented that at the uh, bring it uh, this past year so as you quickly scroll down, um, a lot of the same things are my examples. I feel like my learning environment, um, promoting that with the school Twitter, the class Twitter, trying to implement the read and write, the apps, the extensions for my kids all the times and that all the time, and then it filters into other classes. I get asked to do that as well. I did um, the literacy symposium that I saw you at. I presented on technology and social justice and how we contact a sort of more in a global aspect and sharing and, and community and being kind to one another in that area. I do think the other area of focus would be uh, communication and using collaborative tools to communicate beyond the classroom walls and that is an area I would like to help teachers with. Um, Professional development program evaluation, you can see these are some areas of, of where my gaps are. The digital citizenship, I feel like I always can learn from that area, but it's not an area of focus for me this time. I have examples of that. And my content, knowledge, and professional growth is an area I always want to work on. I have some examples here around things related to my own learning in my own classroom. Um, being the division lead, I think I have some things that I could 
reflect on in my learning this past year and could use that in my project and dig deeper into um, mentoring matters around that. A practical guide to learning focus relationships using that book and really taking a look at some of the slide decks that I created and how I could do a better job. Um, as well as some of the new learning and working with some of the people in the course and mentoring them or coaching them in reflecting on their pedagogy and how to use technology to enhance the learning experience of students. So I think this is another area of focus I would like to work on. So as a result, I do think this area here, uh, this goal would be good as well as the other ones I have shown you highlighted in pink. I think these would be my success criteria for my big project. And then I can work on working with others in my school or two other people in the course. And as well reflect on my division lead when I led capacity days and how I can compare that documentation I can share with you. I have I have slide decks that I can share with you on that. And then I can reflect on my teaching practice and my coaching practice and go into some of the research around um, Jim Knight's work as well as the Mentoring Matter book. So I hope that makes sense and um, I'll see how this works and try to set it uh, up on my YouTube and send it to you. Okay, take care. Hope this all makes sense. Bye.